Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we are testing every single mask in the world. Today we're looking at some masks from India. Excited to check out the Safe Shield, Safe Shield mask. Um, never compromise. All right, let's put it in the clamper, get it going, see what happens. Ooh, nice. I like this because it's um, it's got their logo on it. Typically, when people put their logo on something, they're standing by it. Or at least it's easier to get them in trouble. Uh, all right. Let's let it rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out more about how this works, check out that link. Also, we're testing just fit here, not filtrate, or just filtration here, not fit. Uh, you need both things to have a good mask, so keep that in mind. All right. Safe Shield, who are you guys? Let's check you out. They actually have a website, which is great. Uh, Pioneerimpex.co.in. Let's see, Pioneer Impex, but the brand is Safe Shield, so okay. Now, this is very confusing. It says conforms to all of these standards, uh, which is like the F2199 uh, and F2100. The problem with saying that is like, there are different levels of those. So they're talking about the ASTM things. If you watch any of my videos, I'm always talking about, we wanna look for in the United States an ASTM level one mask, which is a 95% on this machine, uh, or an ASTM level two or three mask, which is a 98%. That's the F2100 dust. So confusing that they say conforms to that. But by looking at their box, I can also tell there are other things they don't understand. Like for example, what the current FDA's logo is and the FDA's rule around putting logos on your box. The FDA does not want you to put their logo on your box. Why? Because I don't know, maybe it looks like the FDA is endorsing them, which they certainly are not. And if they were endorsing them, do you think the FDA would use their current logo? 100% of the time that I've seen the old FDA logo on a box, which is failing in two ways, the test also fails. Never compromise, never, see that? Never compromise, except on the correct logo usage and maybe on the, uh, the box itself or the, the mask itself. All right, so um, I will say, I saw on here BFE 99%. Now in India, the standard is really centered around BFE, bacterial filtration. Bacteria is huge compared to the coronavirus, so it's not really a useful metric. We're testing PFE here because it's a better reference. And then also, I don't have to grow bacteria, so there's that. Um, if they are claiming to be F2100 um, and BFE99, that means they're claiming to be ASTM3. I'm really putting some stuff together just so I can, if they don't hit the number, if I can really call them out. Um, but I think there's about a 0% chance they're gonna hit that. Uh, just because they, come on put the wrong logo on like th th this wouldn't happen um i do love the mask though. look at that i love the logo it looks really good it looks really solid when you open it look at that this looks beautiful um i gotta give them that and i do like this design the fold over design because it should double uh hold the uh the ear loop but for whatever reason it's not work. So Taiwan, it's, I don't know if they invented it, but the first version like this that I've seen where it's basically it welds the ear loop on and then it folds over the end of the mask and then welds it again, double welds. Um, in Taiwan, those things are like bulletproof. You can like pull on those things all day long. Some of the best like ear loops in the world is in Taiwan. That was pretty good. Um, this is probably one of the better ear loops that I've come across. But I mean, this, this is gonna fall off on your face. Like, I think if you're walking around and you try to wear this for eight hours, ooh, that one's good. Yeah, this is this is like a probably one of the best uh, ear loops that I've seen. All right, let's put this on. Oh, just again, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna call this one uh, a cardboard box in an Old Spice commercial because it, it's. It smells fresh. It's like a box, but it's a fresh box. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. All right, but does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's check Mr. Machine here. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, that's not bad. 
Man, I was giving them so much crap. Okay. Okay, still not meeting standards in America. 92.712. 92.712. Um, hey. That's not the best mask we found in India, but it's in the top three so far. So actually, like, um, if you're in India and don't have access, I mean, Safe Shield's going a little far with the name. They are lying to you about some things in the box, which I don't like. But it's a pretty good mask, so, um, for, for India. Now, in the United States, the minimum standard is 95%. This is below that standard. That would be an ASTM level one mask, which they're claiming that they have. They have not met that. Um, uh, we like to see ASTM level two or three, which is 98% on this machine, which they have not hit that either. But still, if you're in a situation where it's life or death and you're looking for something that's gonna protect you, this is one of the better ones that we've seen. Still would not re recommend, but you know, in a life or death situation, that's all you have, I might take it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And you know what? I'll catch you on the next test. Thank you.